In this video, I want to introduce you to my metasheet that I've been working on for set eight and I will continue to work on for the remainder of the set because honestly, the set is a lot of fun. It has a lot of creative comms, but sometimes it can also be tricky to play. So let me introduce you how to navigate the metasheet properly so you get the most out of it. Now in the front page, we have the different tier ratings, S tier currently the best performing comms. A tier comms tend to be comms that usually are able to win lobby, but a lot of them are just very safe top four comms, but still very, very good comms and very recommended. Uh, B tier comms tend to perform a lot worse or they have a lot of conditions. So you have to be a bit more careful about playing them. And honestly, I'm probably gonna end up removing the C tier comms. These are usually comms that are just put, at, uh, put on the side for now. But before we go deeper into the different comms, uh, here you can see if a uh, comp has an H, for example, Camille reroll, it means uh, hero augment is required. And if it has an A, for example, nine laser core, then a normal augment is required. In this case, the laser core heart. If you're ever wondering about how up to date the meter sheet is, here we can also see when the last update was done. And if you don't want to click on every single thing to, to see what the comp is, uh, here you have a slideshow. So if you just click to next, you can see from order left to right, which are currently the best comp you can play on this patch. But let's take a closer look at one of these comps. For example, if we take the six Oxfors comp, uh, here you can see this is more or less how your positioning should look like. If you want to change something for yourself, you can also click on this board link and this will redirect you to the board link for tactic.tools. If you scroll down, you can see uh, recommendations for the first carousel, some general gameplay tips for stage two, three, four, and the late game. And also sometimes some pretty useful tips regarding maybe there's some specific interactions uh, with this comp uh, that, Im that you should know about. Maybe uh, something like a Shojin on an Aphelios with eight Ox Force, you know, that, putting that as your win condition. It, it's not something that's on the board, but it's still very helpful to know if you ever come into a situation where you can use it. Here are also some alternative item recommendations and some hero and normal augment recommendations. Now I don't have this detailed of a guide for every single comp. I hope that going uh, <laughs> going towards Christmas, I will be able to finish everything up. If you wanna navigate back to the home menu, for example, you can go up here, you can click on the meta sheet again, and it's going to put you back to the front page. And maybe we check out the, I don't know, let's check out the Viego carry comp or something. Here, for example, I don't have as many informations, but I will hopefully update this in the future. And also you don't always have to go back to the meta sheet. For example, you can also hover over the S tier and then you have the different type comps. Maybe here we want to check out the Jax reroll comp and then here we are at the Jax reroll and we can check everything out. So you don't always have to go to the main sheet. You can use the navigator at the top and just hover over everything and then go to the comp that you want to check out. But there's also info in this meta sheet for other stuff, uh, especially game mechanics. Uh, for if you go to the info tab and you go into underground, so if we go to source, it's going to refer us to the Mortok tweet uh, where he shared the underground table. But I also posted uh, everything here on the uh, website, which means if you're ever curious about what the potential outcomes are for underground, you can check it out. And something that's, in my, in my opinion, <laughs> very valuable is the augment tree. If you click on it, uh, you can see the different paths you're on. H stands for hero, S is silver augments, uh, G is gold and P is prismatic. So um, sometimes this is pretty important because maybe you have a gold into a silver and then you have a 100% chance of getting a gold augment. So you already know how to change up your game plan because you know there's not gonna be a hero augment, you know there's not gonna be a prismatic augment. You don't have to worry about level up from appearing. So, you know, you can spend your money and you don't have to manipulate your board for a specific hero outcome because there's not gonna be one. So yeah, I constantly use this. Uh, I mean, I use this augment tree every single day and I recommend you to do the same. It's very useful to know which uh, path you're currently on. Uh, something that's also very useful is the loaded dice. This is um, pretty much just a very neat sheet on uh, showcasing which units are the best. So just as a very uh, quick example, maybe I want to find Jax, you know, Jax's meta. So, and then if I, I check this is tier one, this is tier two, this is tier three. So I go to Jax and then I see Draven is way better than everybody else. And it makes sense because there is no ace in tier three, but there's Mecha Prime in tier three. So using a dice on Draven means that every time the shop rules tier three, it will be a Jax and this is why Draven stands at the front. Uh, other useful informations might be patch notes. So I will have links towards the patch notes in case you're wondering if something changes. 
I will also add the B patches, I think, I do believe we have a B patch today, which will definitely uh, shake up the meta a little bit. So it's useful to know which changes were actually made. And I think we also have some other stuff, like for example, which units are capable of uh, soloing in the stage 1.3 and 1.4, if you want to try to get some um, gold thresholds. Um, I believe the golden egg loot table isn't 100% accurate. I believe we are still missing the newest one or it's the same for the lucky gloves, but yeah. So if you're looking for more specific game knowledge, then the info tab is the tab for you. I do believe that was everything. This was just supposed to be an introduction video on how to use the meta sheet. I hope it brings you guys success. And if you like this type of content, why not subscribe and stay up to date on the TFT meta. I hope you learned something and see you next time.